This video from the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary. This is one of their keepers training a capybara named Tater Tot. That's a great name. <laughs> uh, so capybaras are the largest rodents in the world. They're part of the rodent God, family. Yeah, yeah. looks like a dog. Simone hanging out with them this morning in Scottsdale. Good morning. Can't wait to see them. Yeah, good morning, you guys. Yeah, this is so fascinating and interesting, and it's right in our own backyard. So I want to introduce you to Casey, the lead keeper here at the sanctuary. Casey, capybars are pretty interesting animals. Absolutely. So good morning, Simone. Yes, we've got Spud the capybara this morning, okay. and they are they are the world's largest rodent. <laughs> As you can see, he looks like a giant guinea pig. Oh, my goodness. So walk us through a little bit of the training, and uh, really, he kind of takes commands like your neighborhood dog would. <laughs> and that's so true. And so they are very trainable as all rodents are very intelligent. And as you can see right now, Mason is keeping occupied. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start him with just a little training session. Okay. Now he is learning, and okay. he's got a lot to learn, so we'll <laughs> see if he'll do exactly what I ask him to. All right, Spud, come over here, big guy. He's like, I'm busy chewing. Come here. Oh, he's got a mouthful of cucumber right now. Can you come down? He's like, no. So this is the best part about training animals, is we work with them. Mm -hmm. So he may know the commands down, but it'll take him some time. He seems like he wants to. There you got go. it. All right. So use the clicker as a bridge, and essentially that's saying you did a good job. Right. All right. So I'm going to ask him to saddle up. And that's a good old, oh, there we go. Good boy. <laughs> good boy. Oh, my And then God. he also knows, can you sit? This one's a new one. Okay. All righty. Sit. Like oh, so close. Oh. There we go. Good boy. Oh, so as you see, what I'll do is ask him a command. Once he's done that, I'll click it, and that's saying thank you for doing that, and then I'll reward him. So through repetition, we're going to get that behavior going. Okay. So the next one is possibly T-Rex, so if I can get him to come over here. <laughs> come here, big guy. I want you to stand over here. So we're going to do a, a training. T-Rex, can you come over here? So we're going to work with what he can do. Come on. You see, once again, working with wild mm -hmm. animals. Can you stand up, T-Rex? Wow. Oh, we almost had it. A yeah. good boy. <laughs> so the idea eventually is have him to stand up with those little paws underneath his okay. chest. So what we're doing is we're capturing behaviors and we're utilizing them as a command like you would with your pet. So, all right. So that was just a quick training session. Now, okay. Mason's going to keep him occupied, okay. but we're going to go ahead and give you a chance to interact with our oh, capybara. And that's something we do here at the sanctuary. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to have him stay right here. Okay. I'm going to grab a pair of tongs. All right. Hey. Bud, I got to pet him earlier. He was really nice. Yes. He didn't mind me touching him at all. Okay. So go ahead and give him a bell pepper. Let's Red see how he likes pepper. it this morning. Hey, Bud, you want some pepper, buddy? There you go. Good yeah, job. Good boy. So this is a first step to training is seeing if they're motivated and what they're going to want to eat. Oh, my goodness. So a high reward will come okay. from the keeper, and then okay. he realizes that he's going to get this if he's asked to do pepper, something. You want some more pepper, buddy? You got there it. you go. He's going to turn it into a... Uh, <laughs> little soup or a morning yeah. smoothie. So you can go get and give another piece of bell pepper. Okay, you really like bell peppers, Absolutely. huh? Absolutely. Good job, Spud. Oh my gosh. And kids can come out here and do this with their families as Absolutely. Well. It is an interaction that we have with our private tours at the sanctuary. So cool. So you can come in and hang out with our, either a Spud or Tater Tot, one of the two capybaras. <laughs> and then while we're doing that interaction, we do have them training. Oh my gosh, that is so yeah. awesome. So guys, if you want to maybe bring your kids to do a little uh, educational experience, learn about the capybaras, Barras. Oh my gosh, Spud, you are such a good boy. Uh, you can do this. Bring them here. Uh, where can people find you and get information if they want to come bring their family? So they can go on to phoenixherp.com and you'll go on to the links that says visit us and then book a tour. All right, awesome. Tess and Scott, what do you think? This is pretty cool. <laughs> very cool. Oh boy. Yeah. Can you come I, down? I think Spud likes you. Come on, come down. He's like, I'm getting I'm amazed like that it. you can Me train. Come come I know. He's like, I'm busy. Wow. Let's see if he'll come down for you. Good job, buddy. Good boy. See, now we're making you a trainer yourself. <laughs> Simone's right, like, I need to get job, one of these. <laughs> Part of the rodent family. Yeah. That's all I keep thinking I in the know. back of my head. Large rat. But